So I come to this Weissman boiler, needs a new pump and plate because it's all blocked up. Hopefully it's not too bad to change. First off, I start with some light on the situation. Isolating the flow and return underneath just so that when we drain it, we're only draining the boiler. And can drop this panel down. Just two screws underneath the side, and that exposes the pump and the plate at the back. Decent space getting this plate off. Shouldn't be too bad to come out. So I'm going to replace the pump first just because that will give a bit more access to the plate as well. See the power switched off of the boiler. cables out of the way. I've got my wet back to catch any water that's going to fall down, residuals left in the pump. slide that up to the right and then you can get it out you can see another one badly blocked get some light on it see all the muck inside there so we might as well just replace this one so we have our new plate which is marked top so there, so the way we're going to go in is feed it through to the back, up to the right, and then back down into place. I've left the screw still in, so that one can line up, and then the other one goes back in that hole there. And I'll be replacing the washers too, but it also comes with new screws as well. The washers you have to kind of fish out in the back there. Don't got a load of muck and debris on them, so it's worth replacing them as well. Just a little tip to make sure on these ones, where the wires run across the back and it's quite poor access, that you don't trap a wire in between the manifold. See these wires here? Trap that between the manifold and the plate, and then obviously it won't seal properly, and you get a big leak because we don't want that at all. So four new washers or O-rings. I'm back in the same slots. You'll be able to fill the slots at the back of the manifold. Like all plates. Four of them are in, so we've got our top. So feed it through. And then flip it up or down, whichever way you're looking at it. Be 
careful I just knock the PCB pipe off. So just make sure you pop that back on and remember what I said. Make sure them wires are out of the way. And there's no wires in between. And just double check, make sure your washers are still in. They're normally a pretty tight fit on these. So it's not bad. This flow switch can move. I think that's the flow switch on these. I don't often work on these. So yeah, that's in. We check. No way. So we'll screw it in till tight. And now I like to double check it with a ratchet or a standard screwdriver. I like the ratchet because you just seem to get a little bit more torque when tightening but remember not to over tighten because the plastic will crack manifold and remember pop that PRV pipe back on just in case that popped off so next let's put the new pump in that also came with new screws as well it's a straight back for like replacement old new so again just your four screws four mil allen key does come with new spares in case you need it But they're always handy to keep because there's a couple of other bits that they fit as well in emergency. The water back on first, make sure we've got no leaks. Okay, not the greatest because it's annoying, but just goes to show it happens. Do you see where? washer is let me see if I can point it out the washer has actually got caught when I put it in on there so it poured out leaking as I've done it it's the first time that's ever happened to me but it happens and exactly what I said just double check that it's intact before you turn that water back on there we go so it does happen and let's just use this video as a how not to <laughs> let's double check that and put it all back in so it's all back in water's on no leaks now let's turn on the isolation valves So we've got heating on on its own, but it's climbing. So somebody else actually diagnosed this. But I have faith in their diagnosis. And that plate was really bad. Look, that's not even banging it, literally just shaking it. Still rising at a nice constant on the heating, it's not cutting out, still running nicely. Let's pop the water on, uh, switch into water mode. rising at a nice constant as it would for hot water job done get the case on 
Let's get out of here. Central heating, it worked okay on hot water. It's still locking out like a block plate, but I've just noticed that these feel blocked. They're really solid, so it seems like it's maybe not working on high fire, but is on obviously low flame. So I'm gonna drain this out, take a look. So I've isolated and drained the boiler again. I'm just releasing some pressure. So when we squeeze this, look, you can hear it. There's loads of muck and restriction inside there. That is roasting hot as well. Let's get a screwdriver. falling out from around there that's hard look squeeze easy squeeze hard See what we can get out of this. Now, boilers top back up again, hoses are all reconnected. Let's see if it's any better now. It's climbing a lot slower now. Yeah, it looks to be settling much better. I must say, I've got some advice on the hoses, sheep plums, because I couldn't see the wood for the trees. Asking my group, have a little group of engineers that, you know, we will chuck little bits and pieces in. 
and that's what she suggested. Check them hoses. I don't really work on vitamins that much, so good shout. Go give her a follow on Instagram. London, you are the gift that keeps giving. <laughs>